How apt it is that the former Chelsea man, Frank LaBeouf, is dressed all in black for today's show. Uh, West Ham, man, there's Happy in white jacket. His love as we reflect on what happened in the Premier League today. And another horrible performance from Chelsea, losing to Leicester by two goals to nil for Leicester City. They are top of the table with that victory over Frank Lampard's side. One point clear of Manchester United. Meanwhile, Chelsea all the way down in eighth, having played 19 matches. Uh, Craig, obviously, we want to sit here and give Leicester credit, which we do. But the big story is Chelsea and the future of Frank Lampard. As we go to air, he's still in a job, but you get a feeling not for much longer. No, and I was saying to you, there was uh, reports coming out of London last night that, that, that he was going to be toast anyway. Yeah. And that this result, you know, w could just be the, the icing on the cake for Abramovich to make a decision. And I think the result, the performance, we've just seen the league table there. I was looking at it, uh, Everton are above them, West Ham are above them, Everton are above them with two games in hand. Villa are three points behind them with four games in hand. Southampton can go above them. So when you put all that together and you've got a, one of the most ruthless owners of modern day football, and he is, he sacked Mourinho twice, sacked Ancelotti, sacked Roberto Di Matteo, who won the Champions League as an interim manager, former player, doesn't care. Spent a whole bunch of money. There's no sign. I said it after the Fulham game, Dan. The part of the problem is they were lucky against Fulham in the end, who went down to 10 men, but there was no sign. No. no sign that there was going to be a change in performance, never mind a change in result. Uh, and for all those reasons, and I, listen, I, I want to see managers given to the end of the season and then we sit back and say, how did Solskjaer do? How did Klopp do? How did Ancelotti do? How did Lampard do? How did Mourinho do? End of the season. But the reality is, it's too big a business now. Yeah. It's just too big a business. We have an inexperienced manager who hasn't got a CV to fall back on. It's not like it's Klopp or, Pe or Guardiola and they say, well, yeah, he's going through a bad time. This guy's been there. He'll pull us out of it. There's no sign that's going to happen. And for all those reasons, I think Chelsea will and Abramovich will make a decision and I couldn't argue against that being the right decision, which is to replace him. Do you agree, Frank? I do agree, and I have to agree because uh, he's the, the the guy who prepared the, the team sheet, who lines uh, some his team up, and uh, so of course he's going to be responsible. And I think uh, he's going to be out uh, very very soon if, uh, if they give him maybe a chance to uh, to to shoot differently. But you know, I want to talk about the players. I mean, do you have a short corner in the first half after six minutes? You all know that when they play the short corner at two, you have to be two to defend. Mm. And then you see Hudson Odoi, because I want to name the players now, not knowing what he has to do in, on the football field as a professional, you can wonder what the guy does on the field. That's what it is. And that's really what it is. Uh, I want to see, because we have to name names, Averts, you know, was uh, on, the, on, the, on the, uh, the starting today, I just want one thing, just one movement who tells me, okay, it was it may, it may be worth 80 million. I see nothing. On the th second goal, I want to wonder what Reece James is doing on the field. I guess sleeping in, the, in, that's, uh, in that matter. You know, I, I didn't see a team. I saw from Leicester the willing of fighting, the willing of going forward, of thinking, having ideas. I didn't see any of those from Chelsea. Nothing. You can have a bad day, but at least show a little bit of, you know, commitment. That's the only thing you have to show. And we didn't see it. Oh, yes, Frank Lampard is responsible for, you know, lining his team up. Yes. But is he responsible for everything? I doubt about it. And this is the key thing, isn't it, Shaka, in the case that today wasn't an anomaly. We've kind of seen this coming. Because it's not a case of, or oh, maybe a bad refereeing decision, or a couple of uh, shots not quite going in. This has become a trend from Chelsea, that they are just not good enough and they just like, look like a group of individuals at the moment. 
Yeah, it, it is, and, and um, I, I'm going to counter what Frank's, uh, where Frank said, um, and, and, and I think the issues go a lot further than than, than just the players. Listen, uh, you, after the Fulham result, which which Craig just spoke about, you wanted to see what Chelsea would do uh, away to a very good Leicester team, and then you see the starting lineup. Okay, and Golo Kante ruled out, uh, but Ziyech on the bench, Jorginho on the bench, but more to the point, he goes with that front three of Hudson Odoi, Pulisic, and and um, uh, and Tammy Abraham, and I, I'm wondering what's the thinking. And I, I mm. you know, looking at the lineup before the game, I'm, I'm keen to see what is Frank Lampard's thinking. What are Chelsea going to do? And in 90 minutes of football, I, I still have absolutely no idea. What, what Chelsea were trying to do to, to, to hurt Leicester City. And listen, Leicester are an incredible team. But I do not know what Chelsea's plan was. And that is on Frank Lampard. And listen, we sang Frank's praises for just about all of last season. The old cliche in this game is you set your own standard. He did that. But then when you spend 200 million, regardless of where that standard is, and Chelsea look as poor as they are, as, as they have been over recent weeks, yeah, he's in real trouble. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.